Hey guys, so in today's video, I thought I would throw it way back to the old days of YouTube and do a what's in my bag video. I was actually at an event with Jo Malone that I was hosting this week and one of the girls there, hello if that's you, asked me about doing a what's in my bag video and we were actually laughing about um, how much what's in your bag changes when you have kids because when you go out without a baby it's like freedom and I basically have two minutes to throw a few things in my bag and I am nowhere near as organized as I was with my stuff before however with the baby stuff I'm super organized so I thought I would do in this video a mummy versus baby what's in my bag and for those of you who aren't interested in the baby stuff I'm gonna do the mummy stuff first so not mummy stuff but me stuff first um, so I'm gonna do what's in my bag when I don't have River because basically when I have River with me and I take my baby bag I don't take a handbag because it's just too much um, but if I am out and about without River um, this is usually what I will have with me um, the bag in question a lot of you guys will have seen this because I've spoken about it a few times is the Givenchy um, cross three bag and this is part of the GV3 kind of collection and I absolutely love this bag I think it's such a useful, versatile um, little bag. I think it's really well made. The leather is really durable as well because it's this really nice grained leather. It's got suede panels at the side, matte gold hardware. I love the chain and how it falls. You can just see the Givenchy logo there. It's got the long crossbody strap, so you can use it day to day. I wear it kind of crossbody or on my shoulder, but you can use it as an evening bag as well as a clutch bag like that, or you can have it with a little handle like that as well. So really versatile little bag and it actually fits a lot more in it than you think because it's an accordion bag too. So it's kind of stretches out. It has the zip here and then it has a, um, a front pocket. It's actually kind of annoying. I thought there would be a pocket at the back as well, but there's not. Um, so usually what I do is keep my phone, which is on the side, because I've just been talking to somebody on the phone, in that front pocket there. So it's like easily accessible. I have the um, iPhone 8, excess the really big new the the newest big one um and it fits perfectly it's literally like it's made for it into that pocket there so i keep that in there and though there's also a couple of taxi receipts in the front i also like shove my receipts in there as well and then in the main section here as you can see it opens up really really wide even though it's a small bag so it's good you can like find stuff really easily i, I honestly really rate this bag i think it's so good it's got a really nice kind of suede lining and in here i do not keep very much at all but what i do keep um a hairbrush because i have the world's knottiest most messy hair so if i'm ever going anywhere where i need to look presentable this is a must this is um a travel wet brush it's one of those ones that you push out but it's so much better than the original ones because it's part of the wet brush family so it's really really good i love wet brushes and it's got a mirror in there as well and it folds up and it's rose gold great love it um and then i also have um my jo malone solid perfume which i actually haven't mentioned on my youtube channel yet i've spoken about this a lot over on my instagram and if you've missed it um this is my limited edition uh palette that i've released with jo malone so if you guys haven't already seen their solid perfume palettes it's basically like a compact but for perfume it's super heavy and i've done a limited edition combination which comes with um limited packaging like pink and orange packaging which is super cool um and my combination is wood sage and sea salt and english pear and freesia so this is amazing to have especially if you have a small handbag because you can literally touch up your perfume wherever whenever you want and it's actually my experience with solid perfume before this was pretty bad like it never lasted very long this stuff is amazing. It lasts such a long time and it's really, really heavily scented as well. Um, so you actually can smell it and it lasts ages. So that is in my bag and is available now if you want one from the Jo Malone website and from Selfridges. Very exciting. Um, anyway, not a ad, just I created that palette with them. Um, and next up, a lipstick. This is Max Brave, which I might actually put on now because... I'm wearing the new Coco Rouge, Rouge Coco Flash, the new Chanel one in Boy, which in the last texture in the Rouge Coco Shine used to be my favourite colour and now it's really, really nude, like way more nude than it was before. MAC Brave 
kind of a rediscovery for me over the last like few days or week um it's basically the same color as my nail varnish uh it's such a beautiful like mauvey rosy pink absolutely love it and then i also have my headphones these are my bose sport headphones um i've had these for absolute ages they're brilliant really rate them um i usually carry headphones with me in my bag if i'm ever like on the train or on the tube or even just walking around. Um, I always, I'm listening to like an audio book or listening to music, so always have those. And then lastly, I have this, which is basically my everything in a wallet. So I actually, um, it's the Chanel key holder wallet, I think it's called, or maybe just the key holder. I actually was given this as a 30th birthday present from Mike's family, and it's so gorgeous, I was completely like, overwhelmed when I opened it because it's such a generous gift but I'd never thought about having a key holder before like I always thought it was one of those things that's completely extra like and just almost a bit faffy but actually this has been the number one most useful and most used item ever so basically what it is if you've never seen it before it has um it's like a wallet so you can put your cards in the back and then it's also got some card space in the front as well um so i keep like um what do i keep in here so i have like my driving license and stuff in the front pocket there and then i keep my actual credit cards in the back so I'm just going to take them out so there's no risk of showing the world my credit card number. Um, so yeah, I keep like non-day-to-day -day cards in there and then day-to-day -day cards in the back. Obviously it's quite limited in terms of like how much you can keep. If you're one of those people that has like a million cards then it's not going to be good. But for me it works really well because I basically don't use more than about six cards day-to-day. -day. And then inside I have my keys and then it also has this little popper which allows you to attach your car keys to the bottom. So it basically is your keys, your car keys, and your credit cards all in one. It's super useful. And basically, if I'm running out of the door and just need to grab one thing, or two things, because I always have my phone, it's this and my phone. So it just literally covers all bases. I have everything when I have this with me. And when you have, like having a little one, I find it so good because a lot of the time I'll just have her bag, which I'll get into now, and I'll just throw this in and have my phone as well. So that is what is in my bag on a day-to-day -day basis. And then, like I said before, if I'm going anywhere with River, I tend to take her bag and just throw my stuff in her bag as opposed to take two bags because um, I don't have enough arms for that. But um, this is the bag that I'm using as a baby bag at the moment. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's a rucksack and it's from a brand, it's an American brand I think, called Cara. I was actually gifted this, full disclosure, um, but I absolutely love it and I've been using it ever since I got it. I did, I was using the um, Gem and Bee changing bag for the first kind of 13, 14 months of River's life and I still have it and love it. This is a little bit more kind of on the go practical. We started using this when we were away skiing and then I've just continued using it since I got back because it is so good in terms of like the organization element and stuff. Um, these are quite expensive bags, which is why I want to say to you guys, I was gifted this, but having had it now, I definitely would purchase it because it is brilliant. Um, it's supposed to actually be a sports bag rather than a baby changing bag, um, but it works really well as a baby changing bag, but I can see how it would be amazing as a gym bag as well. Um, so yeah, this is the bag. I got the black one with the gold hardware and it has like the leather trim and then like the nylon finish i really like it i think it looks really premium really lovely and it's really versatile in terms of how you can carry it because it's got the rucksack straps but then it also has a separate strap that allows you to have it like as a hold all it's quite a big bag but i do tend to carry quite a lot of stuff around and then it has the top strap as well so you can just literally grab it by the handle and then in here it's got a ton of different compartments, so I'll try my best to show you in the most obvious way. But in the front bit here, it also has these handles, so you can hold it with those if you like. I never use those. But you open those, and you unzip this zip here. And then in this front section is where I tend to keep all of her food and snacks and milk and everything. So in here I have... Um, I, we're literally about to go out today, so I, it is like literally ready to go. I have a little Tupperware with some tomatoes and olives in it. 
sometimes I will have fresh snacks in here, sometimes I won't. It really depends where we're going and what we're doing, how long we're out for and things like that. Today I've got, um, she's obsessed with tomatoes and um, olives at the moment. I feel like she's a new mommy lover like me. Um, I also have some milk powder in a pot. We do still give her formula when we're out and about. I know um, a lot of people start giving them um, normal cow's milk from one. A lot of people still breastfeed as well, but if you're not breastfeeding, a lot of people start giving them um, cow's milk from one. But we actually, when we're out and about, it's just so much easier because you don't have to worry about it being the wrong temperature and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yes, there's powder milk. And then I also have a bottle with water in it ready to go. Um, she actually doesn't have that much milk in the daytime. She has three bottles a day now, but she'll have one in the morning and one at night. So if we're out for the whole day, I only need to take one bottle with me, like max two if we're at my mum's for bath time. But um, yeah, anyway. So then the front, the rest of the front pocket looks like this. And it's got this really good lining that's like wipe clean and it's got loads of pockets. So it's got this main pocket here where I keep a couple of um, Ella's Kitchen pouches for snack emergencies. I usually have like one savoury, one sweet. Um, usually now, if we're out and we go out for lunch, she eats like normal food in a restaurant with me, but that's just if we're stuck somewhere or if we get stuck in traffic or whatever, delayed, um, she's got snacks. And then I have these two um, zip pockets on either side. In one of them, I keep like an apron bib. She doesn't always use these, but if she's eating something messy, she does. And then in the other side, I have snacks. So I think there's some raisins, there's like one of those dried fruit snacks and like a little um, OT bar thing, just in case. The emergency snack pocket. Um, okay, so that is the front. And then in the main pocket of the bag, as you can see, it opens up super wide. So this is where as a gym bag, it, you can fit like your shoes in here. And it also comes with a load of bags for like dirty laundry, shoes, things like that. So if you want to use it as a gym bag, it's really good. Um, but yeah, so this is what I have in here. Nappies, I'm actually um, using the Kit and Kin nappies at the moment. I really like them on, you know, we're trying those out kind of for the moment and I do really like them and they are biodegradable so that is always a good thing um, and then I also have my wipes again I've spoken about these before but I use um, aqua wipes because they have no plastic and they're biodegradable which is actually quite hard to find in baby wipes um, but they're the wipes and then I also keep I always have some kind of change of clothes and depending where we're going what we're doing um, I'll have like a full change but at the moment I just have a spare vest um, in case she has a poo explosion, usually the vest is the only thing to go. Sometimes it gets so bad that it's the trousers and the top too, in which case I have a baby grow, but um, yeah, that's pretty rare. I also have a spare pair of socks. I'm not sure why they're in there, but um, I do. So I always have spare clothes for her. And then when, if we ever travel like on holiday, I'll have a spare change of clothes for me because I've been puked on on the plane before and had no change of clothes and I learnt my lesson. I will never do that again. Um, and then I also have a couple of toys. She's definitely stolen a few out of here this morning when I was packing the bag. Um, I have just like a Lego trail Duplo train and a little, a little singing cat that she seems to love. There was a little phone in here but that seems to have gone. I think she's, she's nabbed it. Um, and as you can see, that's the inside of the bag like that and then there's another zip pocket in here and this is where I tend to keep things that I don't want River to get her hands on because she does quite like digging in my bag quite a lot. So firstly, weirdly enough, pack of tissues. She's got a cold at the moment so she needs her nose wiping about 500 times a day um, and she really loves unpacking these like portable packs of tissues which is really irritating so I keep them in the zip pocket so she can't get them. Um, and then I also have um, nappy bags which I don't always use if I've got a nappy bin close by but for things like dirty clothes if she's sick or things like that I always have some um little tiny bags to put things in if I need to and I also have some change so I've got some pound coins and stuff which obviously I keep out of her reach as well and then some drugs not those kind of drugs but I've got some Nurofen um for me and then I've also got a cow pole just in case and some teething powder which I'm not sure if that actually works but I mean we can try anyway so um yeah like a little plastic bag of like medicine stuff in there as well put the tissues back in there and then the other thing that's really cool about this bag which I like as um a changing bag because I'm 
obviously I do YouTube and social media for a living so I, I'm on my laptop a lot. Um, it actually has a laptop space in the back and I have to say this is the, I think this is like the original size, like the medium size bag. It is quite small, like I have the 12 inch MacBook and it fits perfectly, like it's a snug fit. It would also fit an iPad Pro or a normal iPad, it wouldn't fit like a full size laptop but it fits my laptop in it. So um, this is actually amazing. Obviously it makes the bag quite heavy, but it's a padded section for my laptop. So when she's asleep and I'm out and about with her, I can always have my laptop on me. And then last but not least is this section, which is actually unzipped. This section in the side, the bag is empty now, so it's a bit of an awkward thing to show you. There's this section in the side of it here, which I'm not sure if you'll really be able to see because it's all black. Can you see in there? So actually a really spacious internal pocket and it is not part of the main compartment. So that tends to be where I keep my things. So I barely ever put my phone away. I usually have that in my back pocket, but I'll put my wallet and um, say like a lip balm or whatever I've got on the go, I'll put it in there. So all the things that you saw in my handbag are usually in there um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And then the other thing that I like about the bag is it has some really, cute little extra features as well like it's got a key holder which I obviously don't have my key in there I think it's a really nice little addition to do something like that um, you can move the straps around like I said um, you can also lock like it has it's a nice it looks nice but I don't know that I'll ever, I'll ever actually use it you can lock the main compartment it has like um, a little push lock which to be fair would stop River getting into it but um, yeah, so that is it. That's my bag. I'm going to try and put it back together a little bit so it doesn't look quite so dishevelled to show you. Um, but yeah, that is my baby bag and my adult grown-up life bag. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit of a different one. It's a bit like my alter ego life. Um, and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.